A number of years ago, I was preaching in a Baptist church and decided to do a sermon entitled, Why Jesus Went to Parties. What was interesting about that is I, it was a little bit different time in our culture, a little bit different time in the church, plus it was a Baptist church, and so I should have known that this wasn't going to go over well. Well, apparently it did not, because I got to the part in the message where I talked about the fact that Jesus, maybe not only did he not just drink, but he may have taken a little bit of a turn on the dance floor. I literally heard a woman in the congregation say, that's it, we're leaving, you know, you know how people whisper really, really loud? And eventually they got up and walked out of the church, all because I said that Jesus probably had wine. In fact, he turned the water into wine. I know he drank it and he danced. I don't know which was worse for them. You know, it's a problem because when you talk to a lot of people about Christians, it's not Jesus that they have a problem with. It's the perspective that Jesus' followers give to those who don't know him. When you think about how often you ask somebody, would, would you go to church? What do you think about Christians? They'll say words like critical, judgmental, arrogant, rude. There's so many different adjectives that are used to describe them, and often it's not flattering. In other words, we've made Jesus look bad. That's why I started to do this series uh, just last week called I Bet You Didn't Know. And this coming Sunday, March the 15th, we're going to be continuing with this series with a message called I Bet You Didn't Know That Jesus Wasn't a Party Pooper. And then, of course, in parentheses, he doesn't want you to be either. So we're going to talk about that on Sunday, March 15th at 1030 a.m. about why Jesus did go to parties and why he wants us to have a good time and why he wants us to be people that attract folks to him and not repel them. And we're going to talk about how he did it Sunday, March 15th at 1030 a.m. We're located one mile west of I-95, one mile east of 441 at the corner of Griffin Road and Southwest 30th Avenue. We'll see you Sunday, March 15th. God bless you and have a great day.